Man, I hate this. This always happens. No, come on, it just... So I've gotten two calls this week, one for a foster placement and one for a respite care. So hang on and hear why I'm bummed and also still mildly excited at the same time. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, I'm bummed because Robert was exposed to someone with COVID at school, apparently, which means he needs to quarantine for 10 days and we can't do respite this weekend and we can't, we maybe can't take foster placements. I'm not sure. Yikes. So I was really excited <laughs> about doing this respite. It's for a seven year old. I don't know, helping out their family a little. I was really excited about that, but yeah. We, uh, we'll still get to do it probably in a little while, like another weekend, but I'm totally bummed that it's not happening. Like we got the room ready. We we're excited. I went out and bought a booster seat, all of this stuff. Oh, well, so is life. Other than that, we're doing okay. So the foster kid who left our house, we have heard from almost every single day. Like he's called, he's talked to me mostly. He's talked to Robert a little. He's doing really well. He's he's happy where he is. He's just in a temporary place until they can find a higher level of care. But it's a good thing. And you know, I, some of you may not know this, but when kids move or go to someone else's house, like for respite, they have that whole like new honeymoon period thing going on. And so they behave well. Even like really hard kids will often behave really well at a respite home or will behave really well at a temporary foster home. For the most part, I think that's happening. And so that's great, that's great. Uh, that they can have him in a safe space for now where he's also being safe until they can find a higher level of care. And so that's that's great. If you're a family that's considering being certified not to do foster care, but primarily just to do respite, number one, you are really, really needed, like seriously needed. But number two, when they tell you about all these terrible behaviors that the kids have in their foster homes as a respite home, you can just be like, okay, whatever. <laughs> now, sometimes they might have some of those at your place, but most of the time they don't. Most of the time, uh, they're just kind of like, cool, a new home. It's like being on vacation for the weekend. Wonderful. So yeah, I, I would highly encourage you to do that. <laughs> not only is it not the hardest job that foster type people face, but it's also like such a huge, it is such a huge help to foster parents who are struggling and at their breaking point. It can make the difference between a child staying with a family and a child moving. And the fewer times a child moves, the better, because every time they move, it has a huge impact on them and their ability to attach. Uh, yep, so so seriously, if you're at one of those families, or even if you're a family who's thinking about foster care, but you're not really sure, well, maybe become certified to be a respite family. It's like sticking your toe in the water, but you're also doing a great thing while you do it. Well, anyways, I better get back to walking the dog. Ha have a great day. <laughs> Can you even see? So this is our laundry basket. Sometimes it gets angry. So I snuck away for a second. Okay, so we are doing respite. He's actually six. I don't know why I got the message that he was seven, but he's six. So we are doing respite. He's very active. And we've ended up like being on our bikes almost all morning long, going from lake to lake to lake to lake to playground. So that's been fun. It's been good to have that, to have that energy. I think we needed this. I think it's been really quiet for the last week in our house and sad. This has been good. I'm, I'm really glad that we've gotten a chance to do this. Goes home tomorrow, uh, but it's been good. Again, if you're a family that thinks you could do respite care, I think that this is an awesome way you can serve families because they really, having been in that situation myself, being able to have a respite place that you can have a kid go for a break once in a while is the difference between life and death. <laughs> Like sometimes we're just so drained and we really, to be a good parent or a good foster parent, we need a break. We really do. Cause a lot of the kids who come from hard places have crazy amounts of energy and whatever issues they bring with them that require such attention and such, such patience and care. Not all the kids who come in, but the, you know, quite a few. And so being able to have a respite place that we can trust is huge. So please, please consider, even if you don't think you could do foster care, consider doing respite care for families. You could make a huge difference and could mean the difference between the child staying in a placement and the child moving. Thanks for watching, folks.
Let's go dad.